This is Dabu7. I was just about to drop a video in terms of California and the Ring of Fire, and I talked about this specific area not having any activity, very little activity compared to what it normally does. And before I could even get it posted here, we've had a 7.3 magnitude earthquake strike northern Venezuela. There are video clips out there showing the windows and storefronts shattering and falling as the shaking hits the region. Here, just within 40 minutes, a 6.7 striking Vanuatu. Fiji is the region where the 8.2 struck. Since I didn't upload or get a chance to upload the last video that I just did, I mentioned in that there was an 8.3 that struck here in 2013. Now, these earthquake maps, especially this one, it likes to run the quakes off the bottom of the map and only holds less than a day worth of earthquakes. But what we have here is an ongoing swarm up here in Alaska. We have the region that got struck in Fiji. We have the Lombok region that got struck with a significant quake as well. Then we have the 7.3 that has just struck here in Venezuela. And now the 6.7 that just hit Vanuatu. This is a lot of activity an uptick, a for sure uptick in quake magnitude in terms of what's going on here with these quakes. Now, this past Sunday, this is another example of the uptick in magnitude. 53 quakes listed as major within 24 hours on Sunday by USGS. As major. So, Yes, the Ring of Fire always sees volcanic activity. Yes, the Ring of Fire in the Earth always sees earthquake activity. But what we're seeing is a for sure uptick in the magnitude of these quakes. So there's more of them at a higher range. And as you can see here, there's bigger ones popping off left and right. So in terms of this, the whole Ring of Fire and where we've seen activity... The big quake that struck up here. Then we have Lombok. We have Fiji. We have Vanuatu that just got hit. And there was an area off of Japan, Iwo Jima, that was getting hit as well. This leaves the eastern flank with not a lot of action. Now all of a sudden, a 7.3. In the other video that I was going to upload, this was one of the areas I was talking about that was quiet. This whole region was quiet and has been. The reason I like to see some activity is because if it goes long enough without any earthquake activity or a release of energy, it can release a big quake. So this is what we have right now. An uptick in quake activity and a big 7.3 earthquake striking here in northern Venezuela. So this is the latest in terms of the quake activity. I'm going to leave a link here talking about Cali and how California should be prepared for some activity in the future. I mean, everyone knows that the big one is in the offing. There was just a decent quake that struck right up in here that's already fell off the map. But the area of concern, obviously, from the Cascadia, where it comes into the San Andreas, going right on down here into the Salton Sea. So, with the uptick, and with this being an area prone to earthquakes, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. I hope anyone that lives in that area has an earthquake plan. And like I said, I will leave links below talking about all of this. And I will continue to update as we see more. It's been Dabu7.